too often people just jump the wake and then taxi back. But there's tons of things you can do. Here comes some rollers and side slide right over them. Hey, what's up y'all, Sean Murray here and welcome to another video from the series I call Filling in the Blank. And what this video is gonna be is how to do the side slides outside the wake. This is super fun and uh, you do wanna have a board that is that slides friendly. I shape my board so that it has very little bit going on on the bottom, but it has some key features. If you guys want, you can go check it out at seanmurray.com. Click on the hyperlight, it'll take you to my board. And you'll see that I shape my board so that I can not only get up into the air, where I want a lot of pop, but then sometimes I want to slide and play on the water. And there's a lot of different places that you can do things so that you're doing what I call filling in the blanks because too often people just jump the wake and then taxi back. But there's tons of things you can do. Here comes some rollers and side slide right over them. So there's places you can do slides. Here's on the wake, the lip slide, forward slide. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a side slide outside the wake. Number one, the water should be pretty calm when you do this. If it's rolly like this and you're trying to slide, you can do it. And I know some of you guys are gonna be riding in really rough water. We get pretty spoiled here. But here's what we're going for, the side slide. There's two different, major slides in wakeboarding. This is a side slide where you're facing the direction, and then this is the power slide. Today, we're gonna do the side slide outside the wake. So number one, you wanna have a board that is user-friendly when it slides. And you wanna learn the body position of standing tall, keeping the hands, the handle still, taking your back foot and pushing it out. Notice the handle's not moving, my head's not moving. I'm not gonna pull on the handle, because what happens is when I go to here, the board speeds up, people feel like they're falling back and they pull up on the handle. So you can just stand right here, take your back foot, kind of bend your knees a little bit, lean against the line and slide it back. Now, if you want to take some steps, that's what we're getting ready to do. Right now we're going to go down to 11 miles an hour, 11. You can also see a bunch of how-to content on my channel and I do a lot of stuff where we slow the boat way down. Kids can go down, like little kids, my, young, my youngest daughter, she's eight years old right now and she can ride at about nine miles an hour. Adults, uh, I'm about five foot six, 145 pounds. This is around 11 miles an hour. You can totally do things here. And this is called the side slide. If you're a little bit taller, a little bigger, uh, you're gonna need to go up around 12 miles an hour. The reason I'm down here, number one, if you fall, it's not a big deal, okay? This is wake surf speed, if not slower. And the fins don't track as well. So when I go and push them out, they slide easily, okay? They release easily. And now I've got this big flat area that I can learn what it feels like to be in the side slide. So to do it, lean against the line. Keep that handle still. Keep your hips connected. Don't be here and don't be here. Can you? Yes, this is tiring, unnecessary, and I'm putting myself at risk of catching the edge. So let your arms out. Keep your shoulders back, keep your hips up, and lean against that line. So all you have to do to release the fins, you wanna push them out. I'm thinking of pushing the fins out this way, they release. And if I wanna go straight in the side slide, I keep the board perpendicular to the line, to the direction that I'm going. If I wanna go this direction, what I do is I bring my right foot up, it'll make me travel this way. If I bring my left foot up, it'll make me travel to the left. If I wanna go straight, I gotta go perpendicular. So this is where you practice standing here, kicking the board out and bring it right back. All right, let's go back up to 18. Tim, if you could tell Jeff. The next step is to come outside the wake, keeping that same lean against the line. And when you do this, it's gonna be really quick and then go back straight. So we're gonna go to where I'm about 45 degrees off the side of the boat. I'm well clear of those bubbles. I'm gonna take this back foot. I'm gonna push it out and bring it right back. Push it out and bring it right back. The cool thing about this is you can use this 
whether you're in the turn, the boat's turning around, but obviously be really careful. If your board has big fins on it, these are 0.8 inch fins that I have on the bottom. Bigger fins, you gotta be more cautious. They're gonna, they're gonna wanna catch more. Push it out and bring it right back. I'm gonna do it for right foot forward riders and for the sun over here. I'm gonna take this back foot, push it out and slide. This is actually pretty fun. You can even steer yourself. If you wanna come into the wake, you wanna go back outside the wake and you can steer in the side slide. Lock it in and send it across. Now I'm going to do one in the turn. Now you got to be careful here. And this is where I like my board. Woo! Into the power slide. I didn't want to get too far ahead of y'all. Couple mistakes that people make when they do this. They lock their legs out. You don't want them locked out. You don't want to be super low. You just, your knees just slightly bent. The other thing that people do is as they start to do it, board speeds up and they pull on the handle. You're gonna feel it accelerate. Do it very quickly and then bring it right back. So the other thing that people do is they taco forward and they'll be like this, trying to make sure they're lifting their toes up. That's a pretty vulnerable spot. Try to continue leaning against the line, staying in that cylinder. Push that back foot out and slide it. So what it looks like when you're riding and using this as a fill in the blank, Cut out, slide, and bring it back. Switch toe side. Cutting out, slide. And it's fun just to go out and feel that acceleration. Well, hopefully you guys have taken some of this content, added some more tricks to your bag, added some fun for yourself out there, and also you can share it with your friends. I do really appreciate it when you guys hit the thumbs up and share it because it helps it get out that much more. This means we can keep having fun, more people have more fun. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this video or any other videos, you guys can put those questions and comments below. And if you don't subscribe, you can maybe consider doing that. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when videos go live and it's fun for people to get that first comment. Lately, Kenny Holmgreen, you've been fast fingers on there. Fast fingers, Kenny. So uh, maybe we'll see out there. Maybe Jerry Sather. We'll see who gets this first comment. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. All right, I'm going to do a straight switch heel side back roll, not half cab. I got to think about this one. Keep a switch. Woo! How about a tantrum? At a slow speed. Short line. Oh, we're doing a tantrum slide before they turn. This is, this is actually kind of tough with this setup. Here we go. Come on now. Yeah. Woo! Peace.